A very good morning to all my viewers. I am Dr. Puru Dhawan and today's topic for discussion is how high blood pressure leads to chronic kidney disease. I will also share my thoughts on what can be done to prevent high blood pressure from rising in an individual and complications that come with this increase. Blood pressure can be termed as the pressure with which the blood pushes against the wall of the tubes that carry it throughout the body also known as arteries. Their main job is carrying blood from our heart to other organs. Even though it is normal to have a minor fluctuation in your blood pressure throughout a day, a drastic increase or decrease points directly to the underlying health complication, which should be avoided. When our BP increases, the force with which the blood enters our kidney is higher than the required. After reaching our kidney, it flows straight into the nephrons with the same pressure. Unfortunately, the vessel responsible for carrying this blood to the nephron is extremely small, around 7 nanometer, which is the one third compared to our hair thickness. To avoid bursting because of this pressure, the nephron changes the natural functioning of the cells to make them rigid causing them to inflame over time. And because of this inflammation inside the arterial supply of the nephrons, the lumen size of the arteries becomes smaller. And as this, it becomes smaller, what happens? The supply, the blood supply also get decreased. And because of this decreased blood supply, the amount of oxygen, food, reaches lesser amount to the kidney part. And as there is a limited supply of oxygen and food inside the kidney, the size of kidney becomes smaller and we can see that in the ultrasound report of a patient that the size of the kidney is now become smaller. This is not to be taken lightly as this lead to the shrinking of the kidney which comes with the complication like increased creatinine, urea, potassium and other waste material accumulating inside an individual's body instead of getting flushed out. This cycle ultimately hampers the natural functioning of the nephrons causing the vessels to get stiff as well as inflamed over time. The entire process gradually damages the kidney leading to reduced functioning of the kidney. A healthy human being's body contains various minerals which are important for healthy functioning. But in a healthy person, the kidney filters out these excess of this material thereby not letting levels increase at any point. However, in a chronic kidney patient, the filter in the kidney do not function properly. Therefore, it becomes essential for an individual to take extra care of their diet and other health related issues that can aggravate kidney damage. Now one question I commonly get is, how do I know if my blood pressure is high? Well, the only way to come to a correct conclusion is to measure it. Ideal blood pressure is 120 by 80 mm of Hg. Usually high blood pressure does not come with any visible symptom or sign that can directly point to an underlying issue. Therefore, if you find out your blood pressure levels are increased, you should go for blood check to check your creatinine level and your GFR and find out whether you have CKD or not. When a person suffer from CKD because of high blood pressure, a lot of things like protein, potassium, phosphorus and sodium increase with the kidney disease, creating other health hazards. Gradually with time, this complication can lead to other severe irreversible issues such as chronic kidney disease. It is a known fact that more than half of the people with chronic kidney disease suffer from hypertension, which is also one of the leading cause of CKD. In short, chronic kidney disease occurs when your kidney are not able to filter out the excess waste and water from the body. The level of functioning usually depends on the stage at which the patient is. However, an increase in level of sugar as well as blood pressure is never a good sign. Kidneys in an individual are also responsible for balancing blood pressure, preventing anemia, multiplying the red blood cells and maintaining the body's acid levels, all of which are required for a healthy life. Unfortunately, 
when your kidney are not operating correctly waste can accumulate in a dangerously high amount inside your body making you unwell you can develop issues such as high blood pressure anemia weak bones poor nutritional health and nerve damage therefore kidney disease increases your risk of developing heart and blood vessels problem as well these health issues can develop slowly over time frequently without symptoms ckd can progress to complete renal failure and which leads to the kidney transplant or dialysis to sustain life these consequences can be avoided or delayed if they are detected and treated early as a doctor i advise my patients to quit smoking drinking as both contribute significantly to an increase in blood pressure with this it is also advisable to be physically active for at least 30 minutes a day to improve blood pressure circulation it is never advised to consume a high sodium diet as the effect of having sodium in high quantity can directly impact your heart as well as your kidney to a great extent having a balanced diet is also very important for everyone with such a diet your cholesterol and extra fat can be cut down and which will help you to sustain longer with the this disease in addition with the normal blood pressure levels an individual is safe from serious health complication like vision loss heart failure heart attack and stroke it is also advisable to regularly be in touch with your doctor if you already have high blood pressure or high sugar level because if you are a patient of high blood pressure or sugar the chances of getting ckd is very much high one out of the four persons suffering from high blood pressure or sugar gets ckd so it's very important to be in touch with your physician as i mentioned earlier there might be no direct sign or symptoms of increased blood pressure but i suggest all my viewers not to ignore minor signs and incident that might point to something bigger with this we have come to the end of this video i hope all of you get a clear picture of how high blood pressure is one of the leading cause of chronic kidney disease and how you can maintain your blood pressure levels i advise everyone to check their blood pressure to avoid any future kidney related complication i will see you all next time with another interesting topic till then take care and have a good day